So even though I'm on holiday, the grind continues. I've got my notebook, but more importantly, I'm gonna be exercising. Today is my exercise day, and it's like no different day. Just because I'm on holiday doesn't mean I can have a break from my commitments. I've exercised in this room before. I've always done it in this bathroom. Now, as you can see, it's not especially easy to do. Why is my mum's flannel hanging out in the bin? That's not good. It's not easy to do it here. There's limited floor space. So I'm sort of, I'm jumping around here, sticking and moving, got the bath obstacle, toilet obstacle, all these obstacles, and it's not much space. It's not much space, because oh, I'm whooping them, I'm whooping them. So I risk, and also when I sweat, the sweat drips so the floor gets slippery. But this time, now I think I'm gonna have a go at doing it here, because it might be easier. So we'll see, but, the grind doesn't stop, it's a commitment. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, you gotta keep going. Now I've got all my kit laid out here to have a go. Now there is a slight issue because I am a hay fever sufferer. And when we use the air conditioning, which you're supposed to see my finger, which is up there, it, I can't have it on all night because it literally just fills me up with pollen. So I'm on, I'm on hay fever drugs at the moment. You always knew I was on drugs, but I'm on hay fever drugs and what they do is help me out a lot. But when I'm gonna exercise now, I, the problem is that I've gotta wear enough clothes that, catch the, that catches the sweat. Because if I don't do that, the sweat will all drip on the floor and then I'm much more likely to slide, but then I'll be really hot. So my theory is, I, they're my choices. Be gassed by the air conditioning with pollen, wear too many clothes, get too hot, but don't slip in the sweat as much, or wear less, fewer clothes, but then you end up slipping on the floor and breaking your neck. Not exactly the best solution. I think what I'm gonna do is have the air conditioning on just for the exercise session, wear the correct amount of clothes that I do that will catch the sweat, and go from there, because slipping on the floor is really not a good idea. Okay, here we go. It's probably about 30 degrees outside. I'm dressed like this, but here we go. I have a hat because I'm so used to it now, wearing a hat, even in the warmer weather, because it stops all my hair flying around. It sort of keeps your head sharp. So I've got the air conditioner I'm blasting on. If I get too hot, I'll take this off, but then it won't catch as much of my sweat because I've got a sleeveless vest on. Then I'll be slip sliding all over the floor. But I've said to my mum, I'm gonna meet you at about half four. So if I, if, you, if I don't come by about five, then you know I'm on the floor and you'll have to get the medical. So wish me luck, we're about to start. Done the initial warm up. now for the main bulk. Let's do it. Commitment, always. Discipline wins. Okay everybody, it's done. It looks like as if I've wet myself, but I've wet myself with my own fury, rage and discipline. I may not be as successful in everything in my life at the moment, but one thing I am successful in is self-discipline with exercise. And just check it out. The hat came off towards the end after the boxing. I took that off for the squats. So I've got makeshift, I don't have my squatting weights I use, dumbbells, so I'm just using two litre bottles of water. You just got to adapt, and I mean this in the kindest of way, you know, because I don't want to be one of these preaching idiots, but really, what, what's your excuse now? <laughs> Mine, I've got, I know there's plenty of them, but when you commit, you've got to commit. It's the only secret. Do you think I wanted to exercise on holiday? No, but I made this commitment of annoying my neighbours <laughs> by doing it, but it's just so important. It's not even finished yet. I've got to go out down to the beach and use the pull-up bar now. This time they've got it. Last time I came here, there was one I had to walk quite a distance to in a park, but I walked anyway and used it because I committed to doing pull-ups. And that's the kind of discipline. I want to represent the discipline and commitment it takes to, not to make you feel bad, but to inspire you and to show you that what it's, you know, just what it takes to do that thing. And I know I've got it with exercise, but I'm going to try and do that with everything in my life, starting today. <sighs> right, well, I'm off to go and do some pull-ups and then jump in the sea and get rid of all this. So. Thanks very much, let's do this. Oh, and one more thing, the floor did get a bit slippery. I think there's some gritty sand, which is very difficult to balance when you're on your toes, but oh, it's improving my footwork. But I didn't slip in my own sweat, and I'm still in one piece, so <laughs> two weeks left.